Good evening, everyone. I'm meteorologist Katie McNeil. You've now clicked on the Weather Now link, and let's jump right into it. Taking a look at our temperatures out there, started to drop pretty significantly in the last couple of hours. Now in the 20s and low 30s across the area. Newport a little bit warmer as well as westerly 31 and 33. Providence sitting right at 30. Smithfield now at 26 and will continue to drop into the low 20s as we head towards the overnight with clear skies now any clouds that were moving through earlier pretty much gone away. We did have uh, some moisture to our south with this uh, kind of weakened low pressure system moving offshore and with that not seeing any rain or snow from that but we were kind of seeing some pesky cloud coverage that was hard to uh, shake off throughout the day today now finally clearing up for a much sunnier day on Tuesday so in the overnight as I mentioned those temperatures dipping into the 20s here which is going to lead way to a cold start to your day Tuesday morning but plenty of sunshine will allow things to warm up pretty quickly here to seasonable high temperatures in the afternoon right around 40 degrees and with those lack of clouds it's going to shape up to be another cold night as we head into the overnight on Tuesday with lows in the 20s again. So your overnight lows tonight right around 24 degrees it's going to be colder with mainly clear conditions and staying dry as well and as I mentioned this will lead way to a cold start with frigid temperatures to your Tuesday morning here and those temperatures will start to work their way into the upper 30s and right around 40 degrees for those afternoon highs staying mostly sunny and dry throughout the day and then as the sun sets here we will be dipping back into the 30s and then the 20s overnight but staying quiet for the next couple days next chance for any precipitation isn't going to be until Thursday for some passing showers and then Sunday which keep checking back in with us but we could see our first storm with measurable snowfall so kind of too soon to tell on that but we'll have more details as the days continue for the rest of this week and as always you can get your full forecast anytime at WPRI.com.